Morning, y'all. I'm outside in the front of the homestead this morning. I figure I'd do my Sunday morning message from there. It's pretty, it's about 83 degrees out here, and it's beautiful. So I figured I might as well say hello. I've been working on the indoor studio, and that's coming along nice. And I've been working on the out keeping the outdoor studio up and running, but I got to get some more cat cables to run some internet connection out to the indoor studio. So I got to do that here this week or two and put that all together. Got a couple of computers running out there and got to make sure it's all watertight and stuff for before winter sets in. Other than that, everything's doing really good around the garden. I put some lettuce, more lettuce in and some more collard greens in this morning. And I'm going to see how those take off. Harvested up some squash and sliced them up, cut them up, and put them in a deep freeze for winter. Plus a few other things, so I'm working on it. I didn't want to talk about politics, but... Uh, this whole thing with Bammy and the boys is just going to hell in a handbasket, and I really don't appreciate it, but nothing much we can do except be prepared and get ready for the shit to hit the fan, because you know it's coming. Can't get much worse than this. But other than that, it's about 80-something degrees out here now, and it's really nice, and I figured I'll be sitting out here as long as the wireless connection holds out and as long as the battery in my little netbook does its thing, it's pretty good. So, hope all is well with everybody and hope you're prepping for the winter and getting things organized and getting things put together. Because you really got to. It could be a cold one. It could be not so bad. It depends where you are. I know I'm here in the middle of... God's country in Colorado, and so we're used to some pretty bad snow, but if it comes, it comes. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But the important thing is always to be prepared for the worst. Always be prepared for the worst. Anyhow, on a positive note, hope you all have a good day and good week, and we'll talk again. Have a good one.